Hey guys, greetings from South Carolina before I hit the road again, going west for a tour around the nation. I just wanted to send a message out to my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram families about the tragedies in, in Las Vegas this weekend. I just heard about it this morning and you know, with the energy work that we do on the planet, me and you, I mean if you're even attracted to my work at all, you're doing it. It's important to still stay grounded and pay attention to what's going on when it comes to us. And so it came to me, the news arrived in my world, and so let's deal, right? And I just want to remind you guys that the power of prayer is a real thing. It's a real thing. And getting fired up and upset about it is a part of the grieving and healing process. But especially at times when a lot of people are freaking out, it's all the more important to find your center, find your own sacred core of what you believe to be true and the way that you connect with the divine presence, whatever you call it, whatever you think it is, however you communicate with it and bring it up in you. And the power of prayer is a scientifically proven fact. So what I would love to encourage and invite and suggest and request that you do is when you think of the tragedies going on in Las Vegas and really anywhere, but definitely something like you know, someone willfully trying to harm other people. And right now, as I record this, people are in the hospital healing. There are people who are grieving the loss of ones that they love who were gunned down when they were just enjoying their weekend, you know. Um, you know, getting upset and sad is part of it. But then, once you do that, send healing intentions. Send prayers. Those of you who are healers, Send healing and Reiki to the people in the hospital healing from wounds. Send healing and blessings to the people mourning their families. Send healing to the people just freaked out by what happened. There's a lot of pain right now in our world. So let's, let's try to heal it. It's more important than ever if you can keep your center to keep it and to make sure that you are being a beneficial influence on the cray cray things going on. Um, Sometimes when I drive by an accident on the freeway or when I hear of something really horrible that's happened, like a natural disaster or something, you know, I've, I've, I've looked at it and said, what can we do? What can we do? Because you don't want to run away from things. You don't want to say, oh, I'm, I'm avoiding. But at the same time, it does not help to just add to the pain and the suffering in the world, especially when you're not being directly affected. It does not help to add more pain to that scale of, the, of pain and goodness in the world. So... The loophole, the best loophole I've been able to find is, you know, when you hear somebody talk about some big tragedy that happened to them, but they, it, it's been passed and everything is regulated in their life again, and they say, you know, it was horrible when it happened, but for whatever reason, that's the best thing that could have happened to me. I wouldn't change it. That's always what I wish, because that doesn't take away the pain. It doesn't take away the trauma. It doesn't take away crazy, the craziness of whatever it is, but it does add a, a realistic blessing that says, okay, whatever it is you're going through, may it end up after everything is passed, may it end up being something good. And you know, this or better, if it can't be that, it can't be that, but that's the wish. And so just asking, encouraging, requesting, inviting you to send healing, get, take action if there's action you can take. But regardless, if there is and if there isn't, still send healing. When you think about Las Vegas, when you think about the crazy things happening in the world, pray for healing, send Reiki, Send energy healing. Send well wishes. Ask angels to go and stand by the people. And also, take responsibility that we are creating this world together. This is not a world someone else is creating. We are in it, which means any bit in us that is violent, any bit in us that wants to just off things, because I guarantee you, everyone is doing what they believe is right, including the people gunning down other people. For some reason, they are convinced that that's the right thing. So holding a field of serenity and acceptance and uh, mutual respect for people on different paths as you is something that's incredibly powerful and it's something that I think can heal a lot and like I said the power of prayer has been scientifically proven so let's do that why not right and we're all just drops in an ocean but the more of us that can keep our heads and our hearts pure the better this world is no matter what's going on. So some of you guys love, of course there are a million motors around me now that I'm trying to talk to you, but um, yeah, I'm going to be on the road starting tomorrow. So blessings to you, blessings to all the people affected, sending you all my love and wishes that you heal the best that can possibly happen.